And there's just three days left until Election Day. Candidates in Maryland not wasting a second. They're out crisscrossing the state, encouraging people to get out and vote. And today, many of those candidates spent some time in Montgomery County. News Force Derek Ward was there as well. The last weekend before a pivotal midterm election and the top of the Democratic slate for Maryland state office races came to Wheaton to fire up supporters and garner even more. Making sure your friends, your family, your neighbors, people that you talk to, your co-workers, come out and vote. The event with a strong showing from organized labor and immigrant advocacy groups highlighted the themes of the race. I think people do understand what is at stake right now. There's history. Wes Moore would be Maryland's first African-American governor. And then there are the pressing issues at hand. The future of our economy. It's making sure we can have a 21st century education system. It's how do we focus on public safety. And the weighty issue of the future of faith in the system of voting. The very system Moore and his Republican opponent, Dan Cox, are counting on. We understand that right now, what we have to do is not just win an election, we've got to send a message. We've got to send a message that democracy lives in the state of Maryland, that we have free and fair elections in the state of Maryland. It will be a busy weekend on both sides of the political aisle. On Sunday, candidate Cox will hold his own pre-election rally in Brunswick, Maryland. On the bill there, a Charles County pastor and a spokesperson for former President Trump. The Moore campaign, even with a lead in the polls, isn't taking the opponent lightly. And neither is the rest of the ticket. This rally was followed by a massive get-out-the-vote effort with broad demographics. Maryland, I think, is going to be a beacon of hope on Tuesday when we elect a very diverse ticket. Former Lieutenant Governor and current Congressman Anthony Brown would be the state's first African-American Attorney General. Comptroller candidate Brooke Learman would be the first woman to hold that office. And Lieutenant Governor candidate Aruna Miller would be the first Indian woman to hold that spot. This is the state that we welcome everyone from all over the world. As both sides approach Decision Day, the days leading up to it are just as important. There are countries where people are fighting to have the opportunity to even do this, like just this, just standing here and doing this without tear gas. In Wheaton, Derek Ward, News 4. Republican gubernatorial candidate Dan Cox picked up an endorsement today from the National Vietnam and Gulf War Veterans Coalition. The chairman of that coalition's board released a statement saying, quote, Dan's experience, knowledge, and patriotism are especially needed among America's governors at this particular time in our history when our beloved country is at risk. You can count on News 4 and NBC News for complete election coverage on air, election night, and online at NBCWashington.com and in the NBC Washington app.